it's Red Lace, and today I'm going to show you how to find all the items for the pantry in the community center in Stardew Valley on the PC, which will unlock the greenhouse. So the pantry is up here right above the crafts room, and you'll have needed to already completed one bundle from the crafts room in order to unlock the pantry. So you'll want to start saving stuff for the pantry right away because a lot of it is related to specific seasons, so it's best to get started early on this one. The first one is the Spring Crops Bundle, and it is a parsnip, a green bean, a cauliflower, and a potato, and the reward is Speed Grow, and you get 20 of those. I'm going to go through these fairly quickly, so feel free to pause. The next one is the Summer Crops Bundle. You'll need a tomato, a hot pepper, a blueberry, and a melon, and the reward is a quality sprinkler. Next is the Fall Crops Bundle. One eggplant, a pumpkin, a yam, a corn, and you'll be rewarded with a bee house. Next is the Quality Crops Bundle. You'll need five gold parsnips, five gold melons, five gold corn, and five pumpkins, and you'll be rewarded with a preserves jar. I recommend planting fertilizer on your crops. Quality fertilizer is best, and you'll increase your chances of getting gold items, especially if you're having a lucky day, so be sure to check the fortune teller on your TV. The next one's the Animal Bundle. You'll need a large milk, a large white egg, a large brown egg, a duck egg, a large goat's milk and wool, and the reward is a cheese press, and you'll only need five of these items to complete this bundle. The next one's the Artisan Bundle. You'll need a truffle oil, cloth, goat cheese, cheese, honey, jelly, cherry, apricot, orange, peach, apple, and pomegranate. You'll be rewarded with a keg, and this one you'll only need six of these items to complete, which is only half. So you should be able to do this one pretty well. Um, just be sure to plant those fruit trees. <laughs> And so let's go ahead and finish up our last bundle here. I all I needed was the duck egg, so I've done that. The bundle is now complete. And the package opens, and my reward's down here, which I just received the cheese press. Click OK. And whoa! Junimos! <laughs> We're happy to help. It's not our house, after all. So now the pantry is looking spick and span. You can see that everything looks nice and new. And the kitchen even got repaired over here on the left side, which is pretty cool. So if we follow the little Junimo, he has grabbed a gold star from his grass hut and will now place it on the fireplace, which will complete our third room in the community center. So we are now halfway finished. And the kitchen over here, by the way, is not usable. So you'll still need to have the kitchen upgrade in your house to start cooking. So if you'd like to pause here, if you don't want to see the cutscene for the pantry reward or the finished product of the reward, I'd suggest you stop watching. Everybody else, let's uh, go to sleep for the night and see what happens. So it looks like they were hard at work last night on fixing our greenhouse, so if we wake up and head out the door, let's go check out the new greenhouse that we now have. Looks like I need to do some grass cutting. <laughs> so there's the greenhouse. It looks very nice and sparkly. And uh, you can actually go inside, and this is a huge plot that you can grow new items in. So now you have a new indoor garden plot. So that's how you obtain the greenhouse. Thank you for watching, and please subscribe to me on YouTube, follow me on Twitter, and watch me live on Twitch, all at Red Lace Gaming. Also visit my website, redlacegaming.com.